just another hour and a half. So uh, good to have you here. We have a fairly short briefing this morning, but certainly a very important briefing. We want to talk about an initiative that you're going to hear, Homeless for a Day. Um, not sure people know the impact that homeless has on our community. On any given day, there's about 573 Wichitans that are homeless. And there's a lot of misperceptions about the vulnerable, vulnerable population, uh, something that Interfaith Ministries hopes to tackle this upcoming Homeless for a Day event. Designed to raise awareness and empathy for homeless, the event will kick off with a tour of Interfaith Ministries campus, which includes three homeless shelters, 105 low-income apartments, as well as their administrative office at 829 North Market. Folks will then check in to one of the winter shelters. It's important to note that this shelter is closed for the season, so we're not taking any beds away from the homeless. Following dinner, participants will then hear from successful individuals who have experienced homelessness and learn more about this important community issue. They will then settle in for the night and experience what it's like to sleep in a shelter. I would encourage all of you uh, to participate, particularly those who work with this population on a regular basis. Join me at this event and you can register to participate in person or virtually or donate directly to Interfaith Ministries at interfaithwichita.org slash challenge. And joining me today is Latasha St. Arnaud, President and CEO of Interfaith Ministries, and she's going to fill in the rest of the gaps. So I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Mayor Longwell. Um, I really appreciate your kind introduction and the opportunity to speak with all of you today. Uh, as some of you may know, Interfaith Ministries serves those living in extreme poverty, including the homeless, and we've done this for over 135 years. In this time, we have empowered hundreds of thousands of individuals and families in our community. In addition to operating three homeless shelters, where we serve roughly 1,500 unduplicated men, women, and families with children each year. IFM also serves 105, um, we have 105 low-income apartments where we provide affordable, permanent housing for nearly 200 individuals and families. At each of these facilities, uh, we offer our clients extensive case management to help them address their unique challenges and to help them improve their lives overall. Um, and of course, the community at large. We also run Wichita, uh, Wichita's largest, uh, excuse me, Wichita's largest holiday assistance program, Operation Holiday. Some of you might have heard of it. Last year, we distributed food, clothing, coats, and more to nearly 14,000 uh, low-income residents in Sedgwick County. So we're really proud of that as well. Finally, we have a street outreach team who meets clients where they're at, where we actually help bring them into the shelters and then ultimately get them into permanent housing. In total, Interfaith Ministries is serving 16,000 of Wichita's most vulnerable residents, um, and we're proud to do this work. As the mayor already mentioned, there is often a lack of empathy for the homeless here in Wichita, and we hope to address that with this upcoming event. While homeless, homelessness is a very serious issue that we are tackling every single day through our programs, this event will be fun for participants, um, and we'll, they'll have the opportunity to meet like-minded people that are gonna be at our campus. Most importantly, this event will help critical programs at IFM. I hope you will join me, the mayor, other city council men and women who have pledged their support to this activity um, and come out to this unique interactive event. I would do want to mention early bird pricing does end on Sunday, so we hope everyone signs up soon. And you can also learn more at interfaithwichita.org. If you cannot be at the actual event, we are having a virtual participation. So we're really encouraging the entire Wichita community to rally together to support the cause. We're going to have a big online interactive kind of activity. So everyone can donate, everyone can support um, if you can't actually be on campus that day. So we're trying to raise $50,000, which will fund our shelters for two months and will also support over 500 duplicated men and women experiencing homelessness. So again, thank you so much. Thank you to City Council, and we hope you guys come out next Saturday. Thank, thank you. you. Stick around. And we may have some questions for you before the end. And thank you for what you do. We appreciate your compassion and, 
as I've said before, oftentimes um, it's the generosity of, of people in this community that make it pretty special. And uh, I'm not sure government can deliver the kinds of services that folks like Interfaith Ministries delivers one as efficiently and do as great of a job. And you do it without government assistance for the most part. I think you get a very small amount from the city of Wichita, maybe less than $20,000. We'll, we'll have to work on that, but it's uh, certainly we appreciate what you uh, what you do to help make someone's life a little better. And and so, next topic I have is water rebate, and uh, just reminding people since we're through uh, April fifteenth, Notorious Tax Day, and if you're getting a refund, we can share with you a great place to spend part of that that will help leverage those dollars even further. And so here's an idea, if you're getting a rebate, you can participate again in the city's water conservation rebate program. We have funded $100,000 this year. Why some have uh, used this rebate in the past, um, the rebate money to buy water saving devices for your home and, and other purchases to date. To date, rebates totaling over $1 million have been approved for more than 11,000 water saving devices for an estimated total water savings of 268 million gallons the program has provided rebates for 2310 washing machines 2832 dishwashers 4107 toilets 1479 rain barrels and 368 other devices including dual flush valve kits smart irrigation controllers and rain sensor shutoffs these devices not only help conserve our water supply, but save you money. That's how you can leverage your tax rebate. Rebates are available to, cu to customers who have active accounts with public works and utilities for the deliverable of potable water. You can go to savewichitawater.com or customers are encouraged to contact Water Conservation Office at uh, 316-268-8351 or email waterrebate at wichita.gov for more information. And so at that, other than acknowledging um, Council Member Fry and Council Member Claycomb that have joined us, uh, we'll open it up for questions. Did I miss anything, Council Members? Any questions, any tough questions for Latasha because she's looking forward to lots of questions. Well, there, I think they're going to be easy on you. After the gridiron moment, they're all quiet. <laughs> all right, we'll let you live that down eventually. Well, we appreciate you all being here and, and listening to some important information today.